welcome back to Haven Hill Homestead. Haven Hill Homestead. My girls and I are in the kitchen a lot the week before Christmas, and it is a week, Christmas is a week from tomorrow, and I was thinking about things that I wanted to share with you this week. Things that would be simple and short but that you might be able to do yourself as you're prepping um, for your Christmas. So I was going back through memories that I have. I have a recipe box that I've told you about that was my grandma's. Um, I, I've shared with that before here, but I've been going through it and I found a recipe. You saw it in the very beginning. It's a recipe my grandpa made for us when our whole family got together all of the time. He would type it out on, yes, his old typewriter. And there's also my grandma's, um, she called it chicken scratch. It, it is very hard to read my grandma's writing and she knew that it actually always bothered her. But anyway, I found this recipe and I've made this before for my kids but I kind of forgot about it. And here's my memory with it. So, when we would go to my grandparents, it would happen often, but particularly for Christmas and we would all be together, my grandpa would have enough ingredients for this punch recipe that he became like literally in our family famous for, that that punch bowl never ran out all night. And I have a big family. There would be over 30 of us together at Christmas, easy. Um, and so I thought I should make this this Christmas. And then, so I'm gonna share the recipe with but I'm also going to make an adult version as well. Um, so this is a version that anybody can drink, including your kids. I do remember, here's one funny part. My grandma and grandpa had this beautiful buffet. I actually have that piece of furniture now of theirs and he would make it on there. And there was no rules as to how many, um, how many times you could fill your punch cup, but there were, there were two rules. The rules were you had to keep track of your own cup and you couldn't spill on the buffet. <laughs> and that's what we did. So, one more other cool part. Is there any time that anybody spilled it? Oh, I'm sure people spilled. Yes, I'm sure people spilled. But we would, we were sure to clean it up. <laughs> it was so special and so renowned in our family that when my grandfather died, then all the funeral was done. You know, if you have a family member that has passed away, I know all of us have. You're exhausted afterwards, but we were all hungry. And so we went back to my grandparents' house. Everybody was tired, hungry, somber, and one of my uncles said, that's it, we're gonna order pizza and we're going to make grandpa's punch. He went and purchased all the ingredients and we toasted him and remembered him that night um, by eating, which is what our family does. This is Deacon, if you're new here and um, having his punch, and it was really special. So now, I'm going to take this very simple punch recipe and share it with you. You girls ready? My girls are gonna make it. What are you doing? Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Do we put all this in? Mm -hmm. Get halfway through, and then stop. Stop, that's probably good. Now go ahead, hold on. Okay, so now when my grandpa made this, he had a really big punch bowl, and I used to have a punch bowl, and I'm not sure what happened if I lost it in the move or what. I don't have that punch bowl anymore. So 
I'm gonna put it in here, but he would have a big punch bowl and he would have an ice ring in it. Have you guys ever done ice rings before? Sometimes his ice ring, it was always, I think it was always water, but sometimes he would put fruit in the ice. Anyway, it was beautiful. So I have it in here. Should we taste, no, hold on, let me taste in a minute. Grab your cup, you grab your cup. Tell you this tastes like how my grandpa made it. You ready? <laughs> it takes me back. Okay, that could actually make me slightly teary. Maybe you put an ice cream on hers. That is the power of your five senses. Mm. The, the power of taste, like it literally brings me right back to so many memories. And I literally, like that That's actually could really make me good. slightly emotional. Oh Isn't it good? They both put a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. like mm -mm. mm -mm. Can Okay, so this is the adult version. I just took a ball jar. I filled it about halfway with the punch that we made earlier, which is about, you know, to right underneath the bee. Then I did two ounces of Pinot Grigio and two ounces of vodka. I put some ice in there and a little touch of rosemary. Stir it all up. If you have a shaker, you could use a shaker. Um, I'm just fine doing it with just like a straw or a spoon or something like that. So this is the adult version. Okay, you guys, you hear me say this. You know I'm passionate about food and everything, right? Oh, hey, where'd you go? Oh, oh what'd you lose? Did you oh. lose something? Yeah. You guys, it's delicious. It is delicious. So, if you want something, just a simple punch to make that your kids can enjoy and you can enjoy, if you want to make more of an adult version, it's a great recipe, really, really easy. And maybe you guys will have some of the same memories that I do. Right? Yeah, I do. All right. I almost forgot to tell you, the recipe's in the description. So if you didn't follow along with all of the measurements and everything, just look down below. It's in the description. Merry Christmas. <laughs>